Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion here on VideoHive. Thank you very much for purchasing my new template and if you didn't purchase it yet, then I thank you for the interest and for watching this tutorial. As always, I just will give you a brief introduction how to use this template. When you open up the project file, you should see something like this. There are four compositions already open. These are the most important ones you will need to customize if you want to create your own animation. Uh, now I will guide you quickly through the easy and quick customization process and afterwards I will go into a little bit more detail about the project and how you can change it. If you really just want to make a quick animation for your logo, you just have to import your logo here into this composition, which is called the your logo here composition. Then you just have to edit your subtext, whatever you want to insert here, and you have to insert your sound. Sound is very important for this project because the animation partly is driven by the sound. If you take a look at the final animation, you can see that trap code form is creating particles and these particles are disturbed, displaced and a part of these things are driven by the audio so that you have a nice union of animation and sound. If you really just want to use it as a very easy template and just import your logo, import your text and render it out and get exactly the same thing that I had in the preview, I really recommend you to purchase the sound from Leto, the Logo Intro 5. I put the link on my site, on the details site for this template. I really recommend that you get this sound from Leto too, because I made the animation after his sound and it fits perfectly together like it is now. Okay. First step you want to do, you want to import your logo. So we are moving to the Your Logo Here composition. Then we go to File, Import, Import File. And then you navigate to your folder. I already have mine here and I will import my logo, the Graphic in Motion logo. And just drag it on top of the logo placeholder. And I will disable this for a moment. And now we see that it is a little bit big. So I press S on the keyboard and scale it down to about 60%. This should work. And now I go to this, your subtext here. And you see, okay, there is no subtext because the subtext is animating on uh, to the end of this animation. And here it is now. And we see this is way too high and we have to play a little bit with the settings. So I want my logo to be a little bit higher and the text to a little bit lower. So I will go back to the your logo here composition, just select my logo, press P to see the position. And now just position it with the arrow keys, hold down shift and press the upper arrow key and I move it up 40 frames. I think this should be all right. Now I go to the your subtext here composition and you see the subtext is a little bit high, so I do the same here. I just select it, hold down shift and press the lower arrow key and maybe a little bit more. This is too much, just like this. It looks good. Uh, you can see that the resolution is not that nice because I just set it to quarter that it works better. If I select half, you see that it looks nice, but I don't like the uh, lining up here. I just want them to line up perfectly. So I select my text and I go to my character window here and just adjust the size. This looks really fine. Now, if you have the logo intro 5 sound or if you have any other logo sound you want to import, you do the same as with the logo. You just import it into your project, put it on top of this sound disable this one and then you can move on to the render queue and now you see that everything is updated and Trapcode form is now creating this logo with the particles it also takes over the color and everything and you're ready to render it out if you want to make a more detailed change or customization of this project i just will show you how to do this now Therefore, you have to enter the animation and the animation you can find here in the animation folder. Just open this folder and double click on this composition and we are here and you see what I did here. 
The first thing I told you is that um, the animation is driven by the audio. Well, it's not 100% driven by the audio. There is only some displacement and some disperse effects from trap code form are driven by the audio. This is made with the audio react effect, which is here and is part of the trap code form plugin. If you want to see what I did, what my, my values are here, you just can uh, take a look at it. And I would recommend you not to change too much here because it's set up quite nice. But another thing, if you really want to do another type of animation, then you maybe you want to change the cam controls. Because as you see, when you are uh, taking a look at the video, this whole stuff rotates and everything. And I made this uh, with keyframes. If I press U here, you can see that here there are keyframes for the Y rotation. This is uh, the rotation of the whole project. And these rotations are really made for the sound I used. So if you want to use your own sound, which has another timing than mine, you maybe want to change these values or these rotations by hand. I cannot really help you doing this. Um, if you want to change the style of this animation so much and customize it for yourself, you have to just play around with the rotation values here to get what you, what you want. Another thing that I did is the position of the camera. If I press U here, you can see that there are also some keyframes. I just animated the set position. You can see that in the beginning, the camera is way more in the depth of the project. And when we move a little bit, then you see that the camera pulls out of the scene and uh, gets a little bit more distance. So if you want to create your own style, your own animation, your own uh, rhythm, then you maybe want to change this too. Be creative, experiment with it, and always be sure that you make a backup of your project file so that you come back to the, the original template anytime. Uh, as always, I provide another dark background, you know, this is the light background what we are seeing here and if you want a dark background, uh, this is very easy to change too. You just have to open up the BG Precomp composition by double clicking it or in CS3 hold down Alt and double click to open up this composition. Now you can see what I did here, this is the background and the background now is uh, the BG light, the floor light and the flare which just is this little light up there. And now we can change it. If you want it dark, we just disable the two light layers and enable the two dark layers. Now it's a little bit darker, you know, so if you have a very bright logo, then you have a better contrast and it maybe is more the look that you're searching for. What I recommend you to do also is, because now the scene is darker, that we decrease the intensity of the flare a little bit. You just have to select the flare layer and now here you see the lens flare settings and decrease the brightness a little bit, you know, maybe like this, because the light is weaker now and it looks better and blends better like this. And now you can go to the render comp and now we have the dark background and you see that also with this black and yellow logo it looks quite nice. Well, that's it uh, from me. If you have any more questions then please feel free to email me through my video hive profile. I hope you enjoy this template and have fun with it and be creative and create some nice animations. See you, bye!